any game that I play, I'm immediately drawn to classes that use shields. In Monster Hunter, we don't really have classes, I guess, but I was always curious about Sword and Shield, Lance, and Gunlance. In previous entries, Lance was a little too lacking in depth for me to really give it a chance. In Sunbreak, with the introduction of some of the Switch skills and Silk Binds, I've come to really enjoy the weapon and really enjoy the constant pressure you can put on the monster. I may not be doing great sword or bow gun damage, but the fact that I can tackle through some of the attacks and truly get the most out of the guard skills gives me such a rush when I play. The fact they carried over the adept block from Gen Yu to Rise was a huge plus as well. I could go on and on, but let me go ahead and break down exactly why I'm obsessed with Lance. Not many people know this, but the Lance actually has the coolest move in the entire franchise of Monster Hunter. The Clutch Claw counter still goes down as the coolest thing I've ever done in Monster Hunter, and it's gonna be a tough one to beat, honestly. Sadly, we didn't get that in Sunbreak, but we did get something that's just so dope and really helps to amplify the pressure you can apply with Lance. The shield tackle was something I saw in the trailers and didn't think too much of it, but holy shit was I wrong. It's the perfect way to chain your pokes, it gives you the ability to put yourself in whatever direction you need to be, all the while being an amazing defensive maneuver. The best part though? Having the utility of getting KOs thrown into the mix is just perfection. There's few things that give you a better feeling than getting a KO or a headbreak on monsters that do the endless charges like Diablos, Tigrex, or Rathian with their lawnmower. The shield tackle was something that on paper truly didn't seem like it was going to make much of a difference, but I honestly can't see myself playing Lance without it. It gives me a similar feeling of playing Extreme Lance in Frontier and bashing through monster projectile attacks and then driving the Lance into their face. Long story short, I'm so, so sorry, Shield Tackle, for ever doubting you. So, this is something that I used an insane amount of times in Gen U. The amount of fun I've had using the Adup Guard slash Instablock on Glavinus is truly a thing to behold. Fast forward to Sunbreak and the fun of it hasn't run out in the slightest. There's just something about absolutely face tanking the best that a monster can throw at you and just standing there like, is that it? But that of course isn't the end, you see. We still get a whole ass counter move with some nice motion value. The thing I like the most about it is the fact that it's a lot more versatile than straight counters that fly off as soon as they're procced. You have that opportunity to pounce on the counter, or if you know another attack is coming, you can prep for another insta-block. It's such an awesome thing, especially in Sunbreak, with the monsters going more towards a combo or follow-up system with their attacks. Not to mention the counter sound is amazing to hear every time it goes off. Now, we know that most weapons have some sort of gauge or something to upkeep, and Lance is no different in that category. The beauty with Anchor Rage is the fact that it follows the trend of what Lance is, a weapon that laughs in the face of any monster trying to do damage to it. I said a similar thing with the Insta Block, but with Anchor Rage, you can't just throw it out whenever you want to and however you please. You have to be tactical, you have to be precise when you use it. Follow-up attacks and combos will surely punish you, but when you use it at the right time, you get a great reward in return. A straight-up increase in damage. And this buff varies depending on the attack you use it on. And not to mention the attack that you counter with does some pretty solid damage as well. Anchor Rage is pretty much a staple for me. It's hard to pass up that sweet damage increase. Now, if guarding through all of a monster's attacks doesn't sound appealing to you, there's other routes you can take. We all know what an absolute powerhouse both Evade Window and Evade Extender can be. Believe it or not, when you throw those on Lance, it's actually extremely dope. I honestly prefer hopping rather than rolling to dodge through attacks. It feels like the timing is much tighter and precise to your inputs. That's one of the many reasons I love Switch Axe as well. But with the abundance of skills we've gotten through Title Update 1 and so on, You'd be doing yourself a disservice if you didn't at least give Evade Lance, aka Hop Lance, a chance. One of my favorite builds to use nowadays utilizes build up boost and status trigger. Of course I'm rocking poison with that build because, for some reason, Capcom refuses to give us good para weapons. It's just so silky smooth when you pull that side hop and squeeze past the monster's attack, but it's just as great if you do this with the super back hop. There's plenty of goodies for you to get your hands on with the ease of a quick hop, such as Adrenaline Rush or Blade Scale Hone. But the best part? You don't have to go complete evade mode even if you put your resources towards straight up evade lance. Insta Block will still be extremely potent and Anchor Rage will still be a badass buff you can utilize at a moment's notice. 
so you just have to switch up the formula a bit. You can get your evade on, then get that last attack with instablock, anchor rage, or another hop if you're feeling cheeky. If you haven't tried hop lance, I highly recommend you do so. There's honestly no denying the title. When it comes to just pure negation of damage, Lance has an awesome amount of ways to do so, as it should be. Yes, with Sunbreak every weapon has some sort of counter or iframe built in, but how many weapons outside of Lance, and to a slighter degree Gun Lance, can just say nope with the press of a single button? Sunbreak makes Lance feel like it always should have been, and I can't give it enough credit for that. Don't get me wrong, Skyward Thrust and Spiral Thrust feel out of place for me in the Lance's kit, but everything else fits and just feels good. Lance still has one of the lowest sheathing times and still isn't the greatest when it comes to natural mobility, but again, these are the things that should be the case to counter that imperviousness it has innately. It's not going to be the weapon that blows you away with its damage, but I promise you, it's still going to pleasantly surprise you in that category when you play it well. Everything from the insta block to the shield tackle just round out the kit in such an enjoyable and satisfying way that's honestly hard to say outright for every weapon in the game. This doesn't even include guard dash and the leaping thrust, which is a DPS godsend and extremely potent, but unfortunately, I can't pull this off due to my paralysis and only being able to remap so many buttons. There really isn't anything that I can nitpick about the Sunbreak Lance. I loved playing it in 3U, 4U, Gen U, Iceborne, and I'm still loving it playing through Frontier. The only thing I might complain about is not having the coolest move in Monster Hunter, but I'll take that L for the weapon we have now in Sunbreak. There's not much more I can say outside of the fact that I love Sunbreak Lance, and I'm obsessed. But that's going to be it for this one. If you take away one thing from this video, let it be this. Try out the Lance. It's so much fun and really gives you a different point of view than most other weapons. Catch me on Twitch streaming all kinds of Monster Hunter and be sure to join the Discord to further discuss all things Monster Hunter and gaming in general. Subscribe if you haven't already, have a good night, happy hunting, and I will see you guys in the next video.